Hello, a community of spouses. Oh, my paper almost fell. Got a little bored set tonight. Hi, everyone. I wanted to come on this evening and see if um, I can be a blessing to somebody tonight, honey. Because the battle has been real. So, my message for this evening is Norma will get you killed. Norma will get you killed. Now, I have been in battle for like the last two weeks. And at first, you know, I didn't really catch on to it. But that's when I discovered that I might can be a rapper because I kept on hearing this uh, word come up in my in my spirit. Think it's not, think it not as strange. Think it not as strange, strange. Think it not as strange. Think it not as strange, strange. And I know you're probably thinking like, what is she singing? But that's actually from 1 Peter 4, 12 to 13. But we're going to get to that part. So I have been in battle like for the last two weeks. But each time, God, my comforter, has always reminded me to be strong and courageous. We walking in strong and courageous. And so I just put a couple of notes on my little board here. And I'm going to probably be looking up a lot. But I want to just go over some of these um, Bible scripts with you. So you think it's not, think it not strange when you come into these, you know, these, these fiery furnace. When you come upon this. Now, I've also um, wanted to share that I have been coming in contact a lot lately with witches. And I'm trying to figure out why. All of a sudden, it's like they like they trying to come for me or something, and I don't I don't really understand that. I didn't I had not understand it up until um, just recently, but now I'm like, wow, like what's what's going on? Then that's where that song came in at again. Think it not, it's strange, strange. Think it not, it's strange. I know you're gonna probably think something wrong with me tonight, and it might be okay, but Norma would get you killed. So, I have never, in all my life of living, have been normal. So, I've been told. And it seems like every time I try to jump into the normal ram, I almost get killed. Now, when I say killed, I don't mean killed like physically killed. But I, it could probably lead to that. But when I say killed, I mean like spiritually killed like let me give you an example i try to go and say oh okay i'm gonna be a part of this i'm gonna do this i'm gonna you know blend it like this or i'm gonna you know me and my family we're gonna do these things and it's like okay you know everybody want to live their best life everybody want to level up everybody want to do great things in life for real and so do you think that you can just do those things and god should be okay with that right not for the ones that, that, that ain't normal. God not okay with that. When you not normal and you trying to live mediocre, God has a problem with that. And he is going to come for you. Just going to put that out there. God's going to come for you. So, think it not as strange. <laughs> think it not as strange. We're going to get to that by verse. So, I'm trying to be normal. You know, trying to live my best life. And that seems like when I do that, that's when the evil one try to come for me. Like... Oh, I skipped a day of prayer, or I may not have read my word this week, or I may have like watched a little bit more TV than normal, or I may have, you know what I'm saying, uh, dove, dove in a little bit of my, you know, little shows and stuff that I sometimes watch, or I probably came upon something on Facebook that I probably really shouldn't have been watching, but came upon it anyways, or... I probably try to have like a hang with a certain person that I probably really shouldn't have been hanging with or, you know, stuff like that. You're thinking just normal stuff in life. Like why, why I can't be, why I can't be normal. Why I can't live my best life, God, like everybody else can. Why I can't be like all the rest of us amongst us. And then he hit me with that rap again. Think it not, it's strange, strange. Think it not, it's strange. Because when stuff start coming and happen, you be like, wait a minute. Like, did I step into something? Like, did I step into, okay? 
Now, tonight I'm using hell as a metaphor because that's what's been going on for the last two weeks. But, but, because my God is faithful, because I have been dwelling with him, God gives us grace, but he knows how to bring us back to reality as well. So, we're going to jump to, the first one is 1 Peter 4. And it talks about suffering for being a Christian. Now, this verse, this um, translation I got, I think it's the NIT, NLT, one of those. But let me start from 12. 1 Peter 4, 12. And I'm going to read 13. Dear friends, don't be surprised. Think it not as strange, strange. Don't be surprised at the fear of trials you are going through as if something strange were happening to you. Because I thought something strange was happening to me. But God was like, you keep on forgetting. Like, I had told you since birth. Like, I knew you in your mother's womb. And you wasn't normal then. So, like, I had already predestined your life. And you try to come out here and be amongst the others. Like, this world that you living in is not your permanent home. You are an alien here. And yet... You are among them. You're in this world, but you're not part of this world. And you think it's strange, strange when things happen? No, you, no, you're not normal. So this is, this is normal for you, not being normal. So, think it not strange <laughs> that things were happening to you. Instead, be very glad for these trials. Make your partners with Christ in his suffering so that you will have the wonderful joy of seeing his glory. They would have heard again. For seeing his glory when it is revealed to all the world. So think it not strange when you come upon, when like when that war come for you, like when you walk into uh, that war zone, you walk upon the battlefield. Think it not strange, strange when those darts are being thrown at you because you you're not normal this 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 things are supposed to happen to you now because you know a lot of people every now and again think that as christians we're supposed to live our best life and we're supposed to be on our best behavior we're supposed to be so so perfect and everything's supposed to be so so well but that's not always the case sometimes we have to walk a certain type of disciplined life in order to walk on this and every now and then when you think you that you can you know go on over and be like the normal god have a way to you know bearing you back to where you belong at. So I'm here. I'm here. First of all, one of my points I want to share with you tonight was don't ever get comfortable. And when I say don't ever get comfortable, that means get comfortable with nothing, with life. We're not part, of, we're in this world, but we're not, we're not of this world. We're in it, but we're not of this world. Don't get comfortable with life. Don't get comfortable on your job. Don't get comfortable with your kids. Don't get comfortable in your marriage. Don't get comfortable being single. Don't get comfortable with your parents. Don't get comfortable in this lifetime, because it's like the, the disciples of Jesus, they had to give up everything, forsake their mother and father, and and and, and walk with, with with the Lord. So, don't get comfortable in this life because things are uh, shifting and things are turning uh, drastically. Now, I am, am part of this prayer group, um, and. I have been listening in and I've been hearing a lot of things about, um, you know, witchcraft at an all time high. Maybe that's why I'm having these issues with these witches all of a sudden. Um, and that's something that I haven't got a lot of information of, but just from the little bit that I do know, um, that's why I've been having these, these little, you know, some, some things that's, you know, going on. Anyhow, the Bible tells us an Exodus 22:18 suffer a witch to live. Now, I'm not on here trying to murder nobody. <laughs> but you're going to get off of me, okay? Think it not it strange, strange. Think it not it strange. You're going to back off of me in the name of Jesus, okay? Fall back in the name of Jesus. So, that was one of the first verses I wanted to share with you. Then, I want to jump over to Ephesians, which I think is really like the 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 pillow the 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 final of, of of this all because I don't want to hold you too long but I just want to come on here and see if I can be a blessing to somebody so the Bible tells us in Ephesians 10 to put on the whole armor of God like he's not telling us to put this armor on just to, to put on some cool clothes and just go and walk out with God no it's a reason why he is telling us 
uh, palm in Ephesians to put on the whole armor of God because putting on the whole armor of God is our protection. And so when you go out and trying to live that normal life and you think, oh, I'm going to just, you know, go have lunch today, go kick it with the girls today. I'm going to just go and, you know, chill with the with, with the homie today, whatever, whatever. And you just out there, you know, just and you don't got no armor on. You don't got no protection on. You don't got nothing on. And you just 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 free. Think it not as strange, strange. Think it. I'm um, keep on saying that. I'm, I'm going to make a rap song out of that. I'm just saying. Think it not as strange, strange, okay? God gonna come for you because he, he gonna come for you, okay? And God always send a warning before destruction. And so I'm a seer. And so with me being a seer, sometimes God show me things. I'm like, oh, like I don't wanna really see it because I don't wanna really see it because sometimes it don't really be good things. And so sometimes I'd be like, mm -mm, that one, mm -mm, I rebuke that. But then it'll come back and then it'll come back and then it'll come back and then it'll come back. And so thank it not strange, strange when things start to happen, okay? So the Bible tells us in Ephesians 6, verses 10, and I'm going to read some verses after that. A final word, be strong in the Lord and his mighty power. Put on all of God's armor so that you will not, so that you will be able to stand firm against all strategies of the devil. All strategies of the devil. Because listen, he is evil. He is slick. He has uh, 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 one goal in your life. Kill, steal, and destroy and that's what he's trying to do. Man, let me tell you something. These past two weeks, when I tell you it was like I was getting whooped, I felt like I was Jesus on the cross. Now, maybe that, mean, that might be a little bit extreme, but it sure felt like I was like thrown in a fire, like in this, in this, in this, in this fire. It was like, <laughs> we gonna throw you out here to the shops. And it was like, I couldn't even swim. I'm just gonna be honest. I ain't gonna even swim. But one thing I always held on to, like I have been telling us for the last couple of weeks now, God kept on reminding me, be strong and courageous, be strong and courageous. Your confidence is in me. Be strong and courageous. Your confidence has a great reward. Be strong and courageous. It's important to get you a word and hold on to it and let it stick to your, to your spirit. And that was the one thing that helped me. And so I was able to hold my head up through the fire. I was able to hold my head up through uh what it was what it was doing i held my head up to the, and was able to still hold my head up was very aware god speaks to me and tell me things and so i was very what was going on and i was like i'm strong and courageous i'm strong and courageous i got my confidence from the lord my confidence is in god i'm going to sit back because he is my jehovah nisi i'm going to sit back and let him show me how this gonna all work out and it worked itself out it worked itself out so be prepared, put on your armor to uh, fight against all the strategies of the devil. But we are not fighting against, man, this, if this had, this is, this, this part right here has been the most profound part of what I've been going through because I had to keep reminding myself, you're not fighting against flesh and blood. You're not fighting against your in, uh, uh, flesh and blood enemies, but you're fighting against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world, against mighty powers in this dark world, and against evil spirits in the heavenly places. Listen, this thing is for real. Like, you think you out there just fighting a person? This was not people, okay? And like I said, I'm a seer, so I was, I can see, though, I'm not dealing with a human person right here. I am dealing with dark things from the dark world. I'm dealing with evil spirits. I'm dealing with, is something going on and happening in the spirit, in the spiritual realm? And I felt sorry for the people around me because it's almost like when, when I, when I, when I, when I show up, I almost kind of like bring certain things with me. Like it's like automatically there. I can't help that I'm blessed. I can't help that. I can't help that God chose me from my mother's womb. I can't help that. So thank it not as strange, strange. Yeah, I knew it was not strange, strange. I was able to recognize, oh, this is a battle. Oh, this is something that's taking, this is something that's going on in war. I am going through warfare. This is what it's two weeks in a row straight. Like, really? Like on like like somebody was just hitting you up up uh, uh with a with a with a with a belt or uh, with a, something just hitting you constantly over that's what it felt like. Like I still be looking back like ooh, <laughs> ooh. I'm like, ooh, okay, God, I know you said you got it and all I know you got it, but ooh, because that's how it was. But thinking that is strange. 
okay? Therefore, he said, put on every piece of God's armor so you will be able to resist the enemy in the time of evil. And I'm so glad I was able to do that because if I would have act like a normal person, it could have gotten me killed. It could have. It could have got me killed. Got me killed as far as uh, my finances go. Got me killed as far as my uh, my 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 living status go. It could have got me. It could have got me killed as far as me being a mother. As far as me being a wife. It could have got me killed. So when I say the uh, uh, normal would get you killed, that's what I mean when I say normal would get you killed. Because sometimes you have to recognize where you are and where you're standing and what's going. On. You got to take a look around and see. Not think it. Not it's strange. Like something strange is going on here. But I recognize that this strangeness that's going on here is, is warfare. I recognize something that's taking place around here. This is not just in the natural. This is something that's happening in the, the spirit realm. Something is going on in the spirit realm. And the attack is for me. And so by me being at, by me being able to identify that, I was able to say, okay, I was able to pull back and say, okay, I got it. So now what I have to do, I have to walk through it. Now I do, I have to walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I have to walk through it. I have to walk through it, put my trust and my full confidence in God. Remind you, your confidence is in God. And I just shared with us on Sunday that though an army may surround us, Psalms 2073, though an army may surround us, I will still be confident. I put my trust in, in, in God. And that's what I was able to do. Because all I kept on saying is, God told me to be strong and courageous. That was his, those was his words to me. He didn't say to me, I need you to do this, this, and this. There will be times when he would tell you to do the certain things. But he didn't tell me that this time. This time he said, I need you to be strong and courageous. I need you to be strong and courageous. I need you to be strong and courageous. I need you to have your confidence in me. I need you to be strong and courageous. And that's why I kept on telling all we every when I pray for my children, when I pray for my husband, when I pray for myself, that was those were my words. I need you to be strong and courageous. I still have to be strong and courageous because the evil one is so <laughs> so, which brings me to the next verse. We're gonna to get to that. Let me fin let me finish reading um, in Ephesians. So, thirteen. Therefore, put on every piece of God's armor, so you will be able to resist the enemy in the time of evil. Then, after the battle, then after the battle, which I think part of that battle ended today. Praise Jesus, Hallelujah, thank you, God. But. <laughs> I'm still, like 1 Peter 5 and 8 tells us to be sober and alert. I'm still sober and alert because I don't trust the enemy. I don't, I don't trust the enemy. So then after the battle, you will then after the battle, you will be still standing and being firm. Look, man, I had people looking at me, like waiting for a reaction. <laughs> like looking like, and I'm looking like, my God told me to be strong and courageous. I'm not worried about this. I had my head. I was able to hold my head up because my God told me to be strong and courageous. My confidence is in him. So whatever happened, whatever the end result will be, my God told me to be strong and courageous. He said, he's my Jehovah Nisi. He's going to carry me on through this. So whatever it is and whatever's supposed to happen, it's going to be in the name of Jesus. He's going to see me through and then we're going to go to whatever we have to do next. That's it. That's it. Stand your ground, putting on the belt of truth and the body armor of God's righteousness. I'm the righteousness of God, huh? Come on, now you got to know your word. Like if you can, and, and then I can see what 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 um was brought to me in that time was you need to still continue. I know you know my word, but you still need to be there because you, I can give you new revelations all the time. So I need you to still be in my word and read my word daily because that's how the evil one gets you. you. Try to sneak. It's like you sitting on the sofa with your arms. just like, yeah, I'm just chilling today. I'm just taking it easy. And then the evil one be like, woo, like come from behind and scan you or something like that's kind of like how it is. Like kind of like throwing you off. But I have God's word on me. I have it living on the inside of me. So I am the righteousness of God. I do carry my belt of truth. I know his word. And so then verse 15, for shoes put on the peace, um, the peace on, uh, uh, for shoes put on the peace that comes from the good news so that you will be able, you will be fully prepared. I walks in peace. I ask God to cover me. I ask God to keep me. And when I ain't feeling peaceful, when I ain't, I, God, I need you to come through. I need you to come through. What I have really learned and it has really been helping me um, is when I don't know the words to just start praying in the spirit. And that that helps me. I just want to encourage somebody to do that. Just start, just start praying in the spirit. So work with your peace. In addition to all of these, hold up the shield of faith. Hold up the shield of faith to stop the feral arrows of the devil. 
no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Every tongue that comes against me in judgment, in judgment shall be condemned. Don't come for me. Which get back. Do not come for me. No weapon. Now, look, this is not to say that you're all innocent in everything. This is not to say that you all perfect in everything. This is not to say that you don't do no wrong in everything. But this says I am the righteous of God. I am the I know who my father is. And so since I know who my father is, don't come for me. Like try that on somebody else. Don't come for me. Don't 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 come for me. I'm I just look like this. Do not come for me. No weapon born against me shall prosper. I just talk like this, okay? I know I look like you, I may sound like you, I may even laugh like you, but I am not you. Don't come for me. <laughs> Don't come for me, okay? In addition to all of this, hold the shield of faith to stop the fairy arrows of the devil. Put on salvation as your helmet and take the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Pray in the spirit at all times and on every occasion. Stay alert. I'm not even going to 1 Peter 5 and 8 now. <laughs> Stay alert and be persistent in your prayers for all believers everywhere. Stay alert. Being normal will get you killed. Stay alert. Being normal will get you killed. Think it not it's strange, strange. Think it not it's strange. If you don't have nothing else, hear that. Think it not it's strange, strange. Think it not it's strange. Normal will get you killed. Okay? Normal will get you killed. Stop praying. Stop reading your word. Stop thinking that you can just do everything that other people can do. And God already called you. He already knew you. Before you were even born. He already had this plan destined for your life already ahead of time. And you come out here just trying to live and do your any own thing. Think it not as strange. Think it not as strange. Okay. And so that was the other verse I was going to read. But that pretty much covered it right there. First uh, Peter 5 and 8. Uh, which says stay alert. I mean that's like emphasize stay alert watch out for your great enemy the devil he prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour that part right there should make you mad already because he already looking to take you out like he waiting for you he's sitting back wait yeah I'm on, yeah she ain't read her word there all right that's one that's day one. Oh, she ain't pray like she post pray that okay that's that's the oh she ain't fast this week all right, I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. Ooh, she had an argument. Ooh, she got mad. All right, I got gotcha. you. Listen, he is looking for a way to take you out. I was reading Job today. You know, nobody want to read the book of Job. But Job talked about it in uh, chapter 13, 15. Yet, though he slay me, I still will put my trust in him. Listen, who, who, what, what is my other option? Who, who is my other option? Nobody but God. What what else or uh, who else can I go to to handle this evil one that's prowling, looking, seeking the one that he can buy? What is your other option? Think it not as strange. Try it if you want to. Go ahead. Try it this week. Let me know how it work out for you. And don't say I didn't tell you so. We have to stay alert. We have to stay on guard. We have to be upright. Normal will get you killed. Blessings. <laughs>